All right, here you go. Just wiping the car down. Got it on the lift. Get rid of any bugs or whatever that accumulated, especially here in this part. I've already cleaned it off with my car wax and wash. Wiping it down with a clear dry cloth. Anything I see like soot, I rub it with this first. Make sure there's no grip in here and here. Wipe that down. Close that cross. Okay, it's fine. Right here, in between this crevice right here. Over the one run right across. And that's it. With another cloth. And just wipe it down. this right here. So I do wax straight inside door hand on this chrome piece of wax so it'll be nice and smooth. Wax this part right here. It's a lot of bugs hit it and fly right off. And down. See right here a little that's it right here just wipe that chrome. Like I said I have to get the Vibrant, not bright white. Bright white's not gonna make it come out. This is vibrant white paint. I tried bright white, it didn't come out that bright. <laughs> it was a little off. So I need that vibrant white spray paint in order to do this white. I'm not gonna do it black. I already have this one black. I want this in white, the front chrome in white, the rear chrome in white, the bumpers. And the only thing that's black would be this in racing stripes. Here. Right here also from the rear. This part right here is this damn cloth. Get the wash and wax. Spread it here. Right there. Where am I? Okay. Take this cloth. Same thing for the other side. Here, that's a little, that's the tar right here. Took it off. The tar off. Yeah, right there like that. Okay, let me show you. As you can see. Take this right here. Off the ground. Remember, I did the oil change. No leaks. No leaks. Everything is good. So I don't have to worry about the oil leaking or nothing like that. I do check it. Okay, all this is done right here. I do get some grit under here. Wipe that down. Right here. Right here also. I just polished. I just put some of that on. Where is it? Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. That's what I used for the tire itself, for the, for the tires, yeah. So that's still holding, I still have it. I've done it like last week. So you get a little bit of that black come to the side, but I clean that off. Like I said, I'm gonna paint this same color. And from back here, uh, you can see how that looks. Okay. And then, I don't know if you can see it right there, uh, right here, some little, uh, you see it came right off, that's that soot, there it came right off, had that black tar, whatever that is, and you just wipe that, wipe all this down, and there it is, that's how high I got it, right there, as you can see. Barely touching. 
Got the garage door open. My wife's first car, first car, and we still have it. The reason why, she told me, as long as I keep it up, do the maintenance, keep it up to date, she'll keep on driving it. But then things changed, changed for the worse. But well, not really, because now this is her second vehicle. This is her truck. This is not mine. This is mine. This is the only thing I own. This is, but I got to keep maintaining, even though it's, yeah, it's in my possession, but... Still got to take care of it, and it's a nice one. So that's the story with that one. I already did the muffler on it. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Big difference with the muffler. And that's what that changed. That right there, that right there. I didn't buy that. She actually bought it. My wife, thinking it was going to fit under here. And what happened was, we had a big argument. I told her, you're crazy. You know, I need to find out the right size, make sure I can fit under here, because... I didn't know how high I was going to be able to get that under here, but it worked. It fits under here. And, you know, I apologize and continue on, but we, it was just an argument, but she bought it for me. I did not buy this. She bought it. And best investment ever when you want to do your old change. If you got a scissor lift, if you have a scissor lift, that right there helps big time with the oil changes. If you have more than two cars, which I got three, four, my daughter, she's in Chicago right now. So if she ever needs an oil change, she just come down here, visit us for a couple days, and I do the oil change, and she's out. That's it. All right. So, yeah, on this side also, just do the same thing. Shine off the wheels. Give it a nice shine. Keep it looking good. Everything's fine. No problem. Like I said, working with this scissor lift, huge difference. Oh, my goodness. Makes life a whole lot easier. And... This truck can stay in the garage. If you had a two post, remember, with a two post, you're talking more space. Like it would have to be mounted right here. And then this car would have to be shifted over because the other post would have to go right there. Somewhere on this side. So I had to move, get that all out the way. So that way it'd be center. So when I bring the car in from the garage, it'd be more that way. Then I have to get rid of that truck. Okay, here's another thing I want to show you since I'm here. Yep, it's starting to show. You see that? The chrome from all the little specks of rocks and stuff hitting it there it's showing yeah so that's what happens it's no big thing you know i'll paint it over again when time comes but right now it's doing fine it's holding out i sanded down i did everything the right way it's just that no matter what you do it's still gonna happen and i don't want to put no extra paint on it because it's gonna be shiny i don't want it to be shiny i want to be subdued black kind of like matted black so that we can make match the racing stripes but yeah, you can see, you see it over here, right there, there was one. This look, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep this chrome nice, so it can match with this right here. That's that's the only, it looks nice, like that. it looks uniform. That's what, that's who I am, uniform person. So that's chrome, that's chrome, done. That's it, I don't have to worry about painting this black, white, whatever other color, or get rid of it. No, this represents vehicle itself that's the whole purpose of the vehicle because of this emblem right here and i love to have it because it keeps me lined up when i'm driving on the highway oh yeah when i'm it keeps me lined up with the white lines and all that i know how to center this vehicle with that in in perspective when i'm looking at it and it matches perfectly with this with this one so it's all good that's all i'm not i'm not gonna paint that it's gonna stay normal and you're looking down here from the bottom not bad like i said there's one here one there one there. See, now it's starting to show a couple here. Wow. So, yeah, you're starting to see it. But then after a while, it doesn't bother me. I just paint over it. I still got the paint. So, all I can do is take this out and just paint it over again. Cover this up. Done. So, that's it. No no big trouble. No big issue. It just happens when you're driving on the highway. And then in the bottom, that's still holding out. Let me get the flashlight so that way you can see what I'm talking about. There it is. See, it reflects. So at night, that lights up. So that stays nice and clean. And also brings up the air for the radiator. So that looks nice. All right. That's it. Just show you that. That's how everything it looks. So excellent investment. Best ever. All right. And that's how it looks from the top. With the garage door open.
Hope you like it.